As you can see how big things actually get so very very important stuff this stuff uh, basically needs to go uh, quite regularly because it will immensely fill up hard drives so we'll uh, just delete them okay so we've uh, to date we've deleted uh, asterisk messages anything in the asterisk folder and everything in AGSTGUI um, client. Now, in the logger.config here, you can actually stop um, uh, recordings being done. I will save that. I'm still not overly experienced in that, but um, I'll just let you know that you can disable the logger config and uh, things. I believe you just put a, uh, a semicolon at the start of uh, everything at the start of that, and it will no longer save stuff. Okay. Next thing I want to go through is what happens if your hard drive fills. Now, common, it's probably one of the most common things that'll, that'll go wrong with your dialer, so this is very important information. Uh, most uh, technicians will hire to fix it. Um, basically, uh, once your hard drive is full, um, your databases will error out and your VGDAR will just simply stop working. Now, the bottom line is it's normally just because of recordings and log files filling up your database. It's a very simple process, and this is the code you need to worry about here. So, please copy this exactly as it says. And um, basically, you go to your party. Um, actually, before I do that, I just want to show the hard drive availability has increased. So I'll go root. Um, as you can see here, 56% was used. Now 50% was used. I didn't have that much in this, so, and I've only got a small hard drive on this machine. But you can get the idea of how easy it is to uh, increase your base. Now, next thing is if you error it out first thing you do is delete anything you needed to delete in your system to relieve hard drive space you go to your root command it's not your asterisk uh, asterisk uh, directory it's your root directory you pretty much just copy that directly in enter it put in your SQL uh, database password and it is going through the databases checking everything fixing everything and from that point your dialer should work not really sure whether you have to reboot afterwards I assume you'd probably be better off doing it but the bottom line is once that commands done your Vichy dial should come back online okay from that um, that's pretty much um, where we go for today's lesson I do offer this information based set on hope that uh, you will use my VoIP service available at callcentervoip.com you will, or if you are in a hurry, you can go to hostedpredictivedialers.com and order a uh, brand, uh, a brand new install for a hosted dialer from $150 for a uh, up to about seven to ten agents. Uh, for $250, I give you a box that'll handle about 25 agents. And uh, or if you go to freepredictivedialers.com, there's tutorials there on how to build your own dialer. Um, as well as um, just the normal setup process. Um, we do have specialised in fidget dial plans, so charging six second blocks, which suits your uh, short call time frames. I thank you very much, um, and I hope that has helped you to some area, and please visit us again for additional videos.